Lady is uh, sting operative. And they literally waited in position for me to come outside. And they deliberately walk right in front of me <coughs> when I'm going down the stairs. And they do this over and over and over and over again. <laughs> they repeat this process over and over again. This is how so this, this is how sting operators train people. This is how they get away with it. <clears throat> that bitch is either an uh, undercover cop or she's a girlfriend to a cop. Either way, she's being paid as a sting operator by police to set me up. <clears throat> now I just randomly stepped. I got ready step out of my home to go to get to the 7-Eleven across the street over there to get a pack of cigarettes. And they got themselves in position before I step outside. So they have me under illegal video surveillance inside my home. woman gets herself in position <clears throat> and she deliberately and intentionally puts herself in front of the stairway. I go outside, that woman gets her kid, and she gets right in front of the, uh, uh, on that, she gets herself and her kid on that walkway, and they head, they either head straight, they usually head straight for their apartment, and they time it in such a way where they're going to do it as I'm going down the stairs. 
they literally time it and they repeat this over and over again. And the reason they're repeating it over and over again is because they want video surveillance of me going down the stairs with a woman and their kid at the bottom of the stairs. And that's why they keep doing it over and over and over again. And they repeat it. They repeat that process. And the reason they do it is because they're trying to create a history. They're trying to frame me as a stalker. Now, I can't leave my home without these sting operatives staging this shit. <laughs> they're literally, literally, uh, not, they're not trying to fucking hide it. They don't really care if I know. They don't care if I can prove it to other people. There's nobody, there's nobody I can call that gives a shit. This is how law enforcement frames me. And she's pals with the apartment manager who happens to be right next door to her. And the apartment manager is actually helping and assisting the police in setting me up. She's pals with the county sheriff and the police. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to end this. But I, I just, I turned this thing on before I even walked out the freaking door. And they made damn sure, they made damn sure that they were uh, in position to make, so that they could make me look bad for their video surveillance. Now, I just documented it. Um, you know, it's predictable. It's a predictable behavior because every, every freaking time as I'm getting ready to go outside, and I don't leave my apartment very often because I'm disabled, I'm using a cane, I'm disabled, it's not easy. I have to carry my backpack around with me everywhere I go and keep my stuff with it. As my backpack is literally like my freaking wallet. I literally treat it like it's my wallet because it has all my <coughs> important things in it. And it's not easy for me to get around. And every freaking time I leave my apartment, I'm beset by a freaking sting operation by this woman who's paid by local authorities to make me look like a bad guy. And she deliberately puts herself and her child in front of the stairway as I am going down the stairs. She deliberately does this. And she does it over and over and over again. Literally. Literally. Okay, I'm going to end this right now.